Okay, YouTubers. Okay, my subscribers. I'm back. This is basically part three on the Note 8. We Note 8 4K. We just installed the BDC and we use e to write the vehicle order to it and so on. Write the vehicle order and the vehicle profile, otherwise called FA and FP. And then um, we uh, we basically know we disconnect from ESIS and then we connect also now to ISTA D plus and then we read out the vehicle as you can see before that the central gateway was in the color blue programming aboard came from the dealership that way and then we write the gateway table file to it with ESIS and it's now good and it's now not no more in blue so therefore we have a go on communication now in yellow with Falcos and that's what we like and the other control modules are basically showing the communication as well so we're going to try to update the entire car with ISTA D+, and then we wait, okay? So let us go around this car. This is the new BDC that we install right here. As you can see, the connectors, they are very difficult to remove sometimes. You have to stop the video and remove them, and they're very hard to take out this BDC right here, you know what I mean? So that is how it goes, you know what I mean? All right. So... This came with the car from factory. I think I need this. Uh, that came from the car. Came with the car water damaged. And this is the BMW X1 here. As you can see, the ISK light comes on. And I don't know about the radio. Nothing comes off yet for the head unit. I think component protection, theft protection mode is active. And the cluster light comes up there. All right, so this is our BMW, and uh, that's the old BDC over there. This is the old bad daddy that was water damage and flood. As you can look at it right there, you can see a bunch of corrosion that's for water ingress and so on. Those are the blue marks that is a result of water baptism. This car goes through such. I don't know which state, but so it goes, bro. This is a receipt for the new BDC that we have ordered and so on. We're in Doral, Florida. All right, all right, all right. So uh, that's it. Okay. And that is where we're going right now. To reading out the car, blah blah blah. And we wait. It's one twenty-seven. See what we do. We get an extension cord, a laptop plug-in. Get that. I got back to this. What is this? Twenty-five feet or fifty feet? This probably is a fifty feet card. I don't know. We'll plug it up all the way there and this is the uh, bmw x1 right here that we're doing and i'm using the honda civic right here to provide some juice to the battery and so on all right i'm trying to open this yet but the car is not fully programmed so it's only giving you the clunk sound but it's not really responding and opening up all right so okay. Ah, nice UPS black chick. There's my friend here, locksmith. Where to go, bro? Here's our power supply. Here's our junction box. Blum, 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 blum. Hello. All right, we'll pause the video for now. Anyway, let me show you the hooking up that we have here. I mean, it's nothing much, you know. It's the same thing. People can do what they want to do. I don't have my INC battery maintainer. I have another battery, so what I do, I bring the car up close, get the jumper cable put on that. And then we carry it forward over there and those charging poles over there and that's it they provide us the battery to keep up so we can do some flashing but you don't want to run the risk of having a low voltage on the 13 volts and it screwed up the control modules and it go in programming abort and then you have a hard time to resurrect it out of that state okay so we pause video for now and note it 4k and we wait We're deleting transport mode. I said transport mode for all control units has been deleted. And see now, 
the cluster comes back up okay youtubers so whenever you um the radio come back you see that radio comes back okay you hear that okay so sometimes when you program a brand new body domain controller and the um the cid doesn't come back up yet with navigation and so on you just delete transfer mode out of all control model and i'm gonna see if i can start some pretty little checks but i don't really want to do that i'm gonna check if the time is set in this cluster here and this car is supposed to be able to start right now i want to see the time well if this is the hard drive here let me check out the hard drive the high drive our drive let's see all right navigation all right, this one also seems to have navigation this is ed unit basic this one probably doesn't have navigation in it and so on this is ed unit basic i don't see navigation icon here I don't see it here when I manipulate the iDrive controller. I don't see it here. So this is probably a unique basic and so on, okay? All right, no problem. Start pre-deliver check. Let me do a start pre-deliver check. Let me pause this on the phone because this is gonna take a long time here. Okay, dear so YouTubers, we have a fault code there that says no uh, flex ray uh, initialization. We're gonna try to uh, to do that now. Let's go. They say that's also a program DME, and so on. But we wait first. We're gonna do that right there that we highlighted. Uh, Central Gateway Model ZGM on flex ray. So we're gonna do a start up here. I'm gonna call up the ABL for that. It says here in the ABL. Flex ray, no flex ray initialization. Okay, so we're gonna try to see if we can go forward with it. Go here and continue. Oh, I pressed it. What the fuck is going on? Say no, we don't wanna edit it. We don't wanna go out of that yet. Data being analyzed. We're gonna go in vehicle management, go in service function. We're gonna go in uh, roughly is it this body? Yeah, central gateway. We're gonna go right here. Flex ray initialization. I click display. Alright, so service function here. We're gonna create our flex ray. Yes, the VDC was replaced, yes. So we're gonna go out here, click continue. Alright. I said click continue. See right here. All right, he said here flex ray. The central the flex ray and central gateway module were initialized successfully. All right, so we click continue. We finish the service function, and then that's it. Go back to trouble codes, and we're gonna delete all these trouble codes. All right, let us delete them, and we wait. See what we get there. After we do certain things, let us pause video for now and wait. All right. The fall code terminal 15 is back on. As you can see, most control models in green. It's only the DME need to be programmed, the active cross safety model, and the, and the uh, what's that? The HKL, the lift gate model. These are in basically orange color, they have fall codes. But so far, no big deal. Alright, we pause video and no wait. We're gonna try to start the vehicle next when the, when the read fall code function is finished. We we'll just wait. This is the fault we get here for the DME. We initialize flex ray and we're gonna see if we get an engine start. Let us put our foot on brake right there. And this P here. Okay, we still don't get an engine start. Still don't get an engine start. All right, engine start not possible now. We're gonna rectify this. There's no engine start fossil. No engine start possible. Alright, so we know we have to look at this in cart data record here. We're gonna program the DME and then we'll wait and see. Okay, we're gonna try to use this to update the service function. Um also update the software update in this let us calculate measure plan and so on. Alright, we are calculating the measure plan. This is part three. We're gonna end part 
three here on the Note 8 4K and we're gonna start it. Okay, let us go.